You're stung by a jellyfish. What's your first course of action? Maybe home remedies pop into your mind. Peeing on the sting site, applying ice, or using baking soda. If tentacles are sticking to your skin, you probably feel like you want to scrape them off. But none of these treatments work, and some will make things worse. And if you're stung by a box jellyfish, that could make the difference between life and death. We're in an area where there's very little tolerance for mistakes, and things that make things worse are, are a real tragedy in our mind. That's Angel Yanagihara, a researcher at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, who has been studying jellyfish venom for two decades. Box jellyfish, members of the Cubazoa class, live in tropical and temperate waters around the world. They're common in the Pacific, near the coast of the Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, and Australia. They inject venom into your skin by firing microscopic hypodermic needles at speeds of more than 60 kilometers an hour. The venom is a chemical cocktail that at high doses can cause cardiac arrest in less than five minutes. Yanagihara has developed products to counter the sting, a spray containing vinegar and urea, and a cream containing copper gluconate. The spray, so it stops the, the cells from firing, the tentacle from firing all this venom. It doesn't stop the venom that's already in the body. The cream, on the other hand, does that. Yanagihara stresses that some home remedies also work. Simple vinegar can stop unfired venom cells as well, and heat can block venom already injected. Not everybody agrees, however. One scientist says vinegar can actually make things worse. All jellyfish venom scientists agree that more research is needed on how the venom works and what can be done to stop it. In just the months of June and July itself, there were at least three kids, I guess you can call them, who died from box jellyfish in the Philippines itself. Yeah. It, it might just seem like a minor part of the first aid compendium, and what does it matter if you say put ice on it or put heat on it or put either on it? If one takes a global perspective, then it's pretty clear pretty rapidly why that matters. Another question needs more research as well. How many people get stung by jellyfish? And how many die? There are no official statistics, and Yanagihara thinks the problem is more serious than people realize. When I went to these rural health offices and I would ask the group how many people had been stung by box jellyfish, uh, a good third in a lot of these places would raise their hands. Unfortunately, in the Philippines, most of these deaths aren't, aren't recorded, aren't ever reported forward. They're considered environmental accidents, and so they're basically lost to us. To get a better handle on the problem, Yanagihara's team is surveying health workers and coastal communities in the Philippines. They're also educating people about the risk of jellyfish stings and conducting research on the jellyfish population. So we see our role there in a three-part way. One is the public health piece, which is getting the data. One is the public education piece, which is about prevention and understanding. And then the third piece is just the field ecology. Better understanding jellyfish ecology might help prevent injury because people could be warned about when to avoid the water. The solution could be as simple as just making people realize that this is this can kill, this is when they come, you know, don't really go into the sea at this, at this point of the year. By showing that jellyfish are a serious public health problem, Yanagihara hopes that research funders will pay more attention. If jellyfish stings are underreported, basically they don't meet even the most minor threshold for any um, asset allocation. Professional scientists need to be really even more engaged in, in the public sphere and in, in cases in which there's real emotional pain and suffering. If scientists stay in the ivory tower, the general populace doesn't feel connected with scientists. 